Uh, despite how you may play for honor, I at least hope you can read uh, oh, English, even if you can't <laughs> read in game. Um, and then here's everything coming in title update two. We got a new hero skin. We've got cathedral converted map. Woo! Finally. Yeah. We've got new armor variations. We got a throwback event, a trio of hero fests, and hyper duel throwback event. So I'm excited. I like hyper duels. Uh, hyper duels are great. Yeah. yeah. Every every time we do this, people are like, just replace regular duels with this. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. <laughs> um, and we'll be uh, happy to see uh, all your feedback on all the things. Yeah. Once they're out. But Nolan, I believe there's more coming today. That's right, because if you look up, there's something dropping today. They're the Twitch drops. That's right, folks. Now, you've heard me say this before, but I'm going to say it again anyway. If you have not linked your UbiConnect account to your Twitch account, what are you doing? Please do that so you can get all the awesome drops, because for every 30 minutes you're with us today, you're going to get a scavenger crate. And at the end of the show, we're going to pick some lucky winners to win a grand prize of either 100k steel or a brand new shiny hero skin, which is just... It's oh, going to be great. It's going to be great. It's choice. It is quite choice. Yes. Yes. Well, we got a lot to cover in the... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. No, that was... Was there more? There was... I mean... Is there more? (laughs) There's always more. There's always more. It's us. (laughs) Anyway, uh, we got a lot to cover in this den. So coming right up, we've got all the year eight, season one, TU2 details, le detail, uh, that we want you to know about. But before that, we've got a little old sneak peek that is very much linked to uh, Assassin's Creed. So we're going to show you right now. Oh, enjoy! Go check it out. Requiescat in pace. Welcome back, everybody, all the warriors out there. Today, we are uh, welcoming once again on the couch, Mr. Stefan. How are you doing? Wonderful. Season one's been awesome so far, and title update two is going to be even better, so hyped. Yes. Also, 
Alex is back. We're happy to have her again. And for the first time ever on The Den, Amelie. Hello. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Welcome to the couches. They're higher now. I like it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we've got a, we've got a lot to uh, cover today. So why don't we just uh, kick it off with you, Stefan? Uh, well, thank you very much. Of course, you've seen today we're going to, or one week from now, I guess we will welcome uh, For Honor's very first cross-brand hero skin with Ezio, of course, from Assassin's Creed. Yes! Uh, so super hyped. This will be a Peacekeeper hero skin. Uh, you're hyped I, as well? I, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> the stabby stabby everywhere. Stabby stabby. You got to stabby yeah. here. You got to stabby here. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so amazing. This is, of course, our iconic character from Assassin's Creed franchise, our friends upstairs. Uh, so it's wonderful to have uh, Ezio able to come into For Honor. This should be great for our players. They can try it out on their Peacekeeper. Um, and it's looking crispy. Yes. I, like, I, I believe I believe you had a hand in that, yeah? My my team did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the character team uh, really went and they remade this armor. Uh, so a lot of the pieces, they had to add on to it. Things like the bracer with the, uh, the hidden blade. Um, make, make that a little bit uh, more... Uh, in the style of this game um, and retextured everything. The face is original, uh, the weapons are original, they're all based off of things that were in Assassin's Creed and we're really very proud of how it turned out. Yeah, I think this is the H-est and the D-est that uh, Ezio has ever ever been. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's really cool to see uh, Mr. Aratore in, in For Honor and, and looking, uh, looking sharp, looking, looking crispy. Uh, so, uh, Amelie, what makes this skin special? So special to f yeah. the world of Frog. Uh, so for uh, for me, I really wanted for the player to feel like uh, they're experiencing um, uh, Ezio like we always have in uh, in uh, Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So it was really to uh, investigate in the um, how it was uh, portrayed in this game. So I make uh, I watch a lot of references of the old game and. Um, and we talk about the, with the mocap actor um, that worked on Assassin's Creed before. And we come to the conclusion that the best thing to change was the navigation. So like all new characters, we went to mocap, we shoot some uh, new animation uh, for the walk, the jog, the idle, and the sprint, and then integrate it to the game. Um, uh, so uh, the, the, be the best challenge was to um, keep the animation of Peacekeeper and uh, Ezio and merge them together because uh, we keep in the combat system like we see here so it's staying the same so uh, everything's going to be uh, uh, the same for uh, him except for the drop attack so the drop attack is going to be unique to him uh, and it's going to stay for him forever like we can see here it's very cool with a blade so uh, it's very fun and uh, a unique thing too is the Assassin's Creed 2 animation style was like a bit old so it was a very uh, hard challenge to like integrate it to a foreigner universe with our motion matching system so uh, I think we did a pretty good job with it. Um, the next thing that we changed was the uh, some unique execution, emote and signature. Uh, we adjust a lot of hand position, contact and we add a little uh, as you uh, feeling to them as well. Uh, thanks to Michelle for the help as well. And for, uh, for us, it was our first uh, gender swap hero skin. So I think uh, we did a pretty good job with that. And I'm really happy uh, to, uh, for you to try it. It looks phenomenal. Yes. And just like, uh, so like Assassin's Creed 2 is the first game that I like launched with Ubisoft way back when. And so it's nuts to think that there are things from like 15 years ago and just the tech and how much has changed in the industry between now and then. And like, I can't imagine the challenges yes. that you guys had in, uh, in trying to bring that to a much more modern game, like yeah. For Honor. Um, but yeah, so uh, for the very first time with a hero skin, we have added authentic VO uh, for the Ezio skin uh, because we wanted to make Ezio feel like he belonged in the game and not have it be, uh, you know, just like, oh, those are canned lines that we've heard, uh, you know, from other games. And then uh, like all hero skins, you'll be able to change the color and material. However, there is a color that is the default color for the skin that is specific to Ezio. So this is also kind of like a first for us. So um, if, if you want the white and the red in, there, in those specific hues, that is only available to the Ezio skin. Uh, so even if you buy the skin on Peacekeeper, that, uh, that color uh, combo and in those specific hues will only be there on the Ezio uh, hero skin. And so uh, they, they look really great, and it's a nice way for us to make sure that the skin always has that, that unique thing that is only there for it. 
Um, and But yeah, be sure to check out the skin because it drops next week. Uh, it'll be available for $14.99 US or uh, $31.250 steel. Now, you've probably guessed it by now, but the throwback event is, uh, is, you know, it's for the Creed. It's coming back. You probably connected that dot. So, yeah, uh, along with the beloved game mode, Assassini e Templari, um, that will bring back the world of For Honor and Assassin's Creed, put them together again. And uh, for that, we have a trailer. Have you ever dreamt of living the life of someone else? Of going back in time and experiencing intense historical events exactly the way they happened? Well, dream no more. Welcome to the Animus Entertainment Experience. Powered by our cloud-based Helix software, Animus can decode the intense memories embedded in the DNA of that legendary warrior you always wished you could have been. For a limited time only, Abstergo invites you to link to the genetic memories of great heroes and to make their past your present. With the Animus, history is your playground. I love For the Creed. It's always good to see it come back. But I know there are some people at home who maybe weren't here the last time it was around. They're new or, uh, you know, we're, we're all getting older every day. Maybe you forgot. So, Stevan, can you, <laughs> you like that, uh, can you remind us of the rules of the game mode? I, f- I feel targeted, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> super cool uh, game mode uh, to play here, game mode event. Uh, what it is, is it takes place on three Dominion maps, uh, you know, one per per match that you play: Citadel Gate, uh, River Fort, and Beachhead. I love River Fort. Uh, awesome maps. Uh, the way it works is it's a little twist. You don't capture the three points; you only capture the middle point. And when you've pushed the lane, your minions have captured it. Then it will spawn a commander at either the A point or the C point. So this will be Ezio or uh, Cesare. So lane's super important. Lane's super important. All right, I got this because I'm a, I'm a lane guy. First step, all four to lane, capture the lane. That's the only way to spawn your commander. And once you do, you go and you kill that commander. That gives you the big point rush. And then you go back to uh, to B and recapture this. I know you took a little bit away from me with Warmonger, but I still own the lane <laughs> and I'm going to be there. Perfect. And this is really good strategy, actually, because <laughs> the opponents have to capture the lane to get their commander and get their points. So it could be good to deny them capturing B at all. And, and if you fail to do so, it could be good to cap- uh, prevent them from killing their commander. Uh, so that's a game move. Well, I'm on it. Get out there and kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think we have some uh, more stuff coming in. Of course. Yeah. Uh, while this uh, game mode event is live, we'll have a, a couple of cool, awesome things across the realization of the uh, uh, in the game. Of course, the new landing page. Yes, that- for the landing page, it was my first time uh, integrating the character in the landing page. Thanks to Kim uh, for the background and uh, Fred for the VFX, who did a super great job with it. And I feel like uh, we're like we switching games, like we're opening an Assassin's Creed game for the first time. Uh, I'm really happy for it. I mean, I'm gullible as a baseline, but <laughs> if you showed me that and you were like, "Hey, yeah, this is an Assassin's Creed game you've never played," I would believe you because yes. <laughs> that it just looks really sharp. I'm uh, you and the team did a, a great job on it. Yeah, props uh, to everyone who's who's worked yeah. for sure on this. Uh, looks amazing. Um, quickly going through the rest, we've got uh, minions as realization uh, in this game mode event as well. With great helms. Exactly. There's yes. a different one for each. So the knights are a bit Templarish, and you'll see uh, samurai and viking as well. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the AC drop attack available to check out for every single character in the game mode event for these three weeks. Oh, yeah, every character. Every character. I can dr- I can do Ezio drop attack with big boy Shigoki. <laughs> you can do Shigoki. You can nice. do whoever you want uh, for three weeks. And then after that, the only one that stays is the Ezio hero skin. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. get First drop attack is free. I, I, I. <laughs> you see right through, yes. <laughs> 
Uh, but we've got more uh, more than that. There's always more. Uh, we've got event, uh, yeah, but, uh, event pass rewards. Say that 10 times fast, except don't. <laughs> so uh, let's look at the uh, ones that are coming out the first three weeks. So week one through three, starting on April 25th, we've got some fresh stuff uh, starting off with the battle outfit, Battle of Heroes. That's a lot of saying battle, like <laughs> battle, battle. Uh, then we've got uh, an ornament, Hero of Heathmore. And Alex, this looks like super intentional. It does. Uh, well, the shape is already a little bit like the Art of Battle symbol. And then we kind of draw, drew on the, uh, the theme of nostalgia that we had at the very beginning of the season. So we've got some colors that represent the different factions. We've got the yellow, the uh, green, and the red for the knights, the Vikings, and the samurai. And uh, then also this uh, mood effect, the Vitruvian hero. So in Assassin's Creed, the Vitruvian man is kind of a, a bit of a big thing, you know, with uh, Leonardo kind of da Vinci. Deal. Yeah, but uh, we have our own representation here with our knight, our viking, and our samurai all coming together to create the Vitruvian man. I love Nusha. That's a, and that's a great little emote. But no, the uh, Vitruvian man looks great. I love that it's a, a merging of the, the three OGs. Uh, that's really nice to see. But in addition to that, we've also got an or uh, some elite outfits. Uh, did I skip those? No, no. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. We've got emblem outlines, and also in week one, uh, you'll be able to get all the weapons from the very first AC event that we did. Uh, so this will be for the first 22 heroes in the game. So the 12 base heroes, the six year one heroes, and the Wulin. Uh, and those will be uh, lootable just by playing the game. So if you're like, oh, I wanted that variant of the thing that was from the first time, you can get it again. So now let's take a look at the stuff coming uh, in week two through three. So this will be starting May 2nd. You'll be able to loot the rest of the customization items from both of the previous uh, AC events. And that'll include a pair of battle outfits, Valhalla Quest, as well as uh, the Animus Project, which we'll see here in just a sec. I always love Law Boy. He's always, always good. The bringer of the law, and everyone's favorite berserker there. Uh, as well as we have a couple of elite outfits. Uh, the first one that we're going to take a look at here is the ruler of the masses, on everyone's favorite stick boy, and then followed up by the champion of the people. So ruler of the masses, champion of the people. I sense a theme going on there, and there's PK looking lovely. We've also got the ornament, Sinan's wings which uh, is looking great on Nobu here, but I've got a couple heroes that I'm going to slap that on the shoulders with. And then everyone's favorite spammable, Welcome to Valhalla, uh, Mood Effects. Uh, this one looks great, and I think didn't you had something to do with that, didn't you? Oh, oh, we were working on it when I first joined the team. Yeah, that was yeah. like your, your, your first thing. Yeah. And then uh, we've got a, a pair of synchronization Mood Effects. First up is the Assassin synchronization. Uh, love the sound effect on that one. It's super good. <laughs> um, and then the Templar synchronization as well, for those of you who just want to roll, roll deep on your night lore. 